got the vacuum pump started. I have some 5 16th copper that I would have rather have used. However, I think it's in the bottom of that tote there, with that AC in it on it. So I had some 3 8 just stuck that on here for right now. So the hot gas is coming out of the compressor. It's going to go up through here, down in the top first. Cooler gas will be at the bottom. Come up. Uh, liquid push it up hopefully from here into the metering device <laughs> who knows what's gonna happen but hopefully it works I just took some death tape put it right here to close off the uh, condenser flow so all the air will go through the evaporator so it should have a higher CFM going through that coil so what do you guys think you think this is gonna work I think it's gonna heat water. I like just to heat about five gallons of water or something with this one. I'll probably, you know, repurpose everything into a small little uh, unit, maybe in the somewhere hidden in the cupboards or something. If I did do such a thing, I haven't decided yet to actually do it. But I could just get a big uh, axial fan, put this evaporator in a new box, you know, with an axial fan, which will be quiet instead of that freaking fan there blow air through that. Still racing for time. It's coming down. Short, oh, I think it just kicked on the compressor. Yeah, there it went. Hoping there wouldn't be a long ass delay. Suction line's already real frosty. I probably caught just a pinch too much refrigerant in there. Let's see if I can adjust that real quick. Pulled out some refrigerant, super heat shot up, so that I put just a pinch back. So we drop back down. So we got a 102 suction, which equals 32, 43, 11 degrees super heat. And it's starting to drop just a pinch. Back up to like 20 over there. Water. I didn't take a water temperature, but I'm sure it was like 70 when I started. I really need to mount a probe in there so I can hold this, but it's already over 90 degrees. Probably should have looked at the time, but I'm sure I captured it in the video at some point. It's 6.58 now. I, don't, I think it's only been running about five minutes or so. Maybe a bit longer, but head pressure up in your mind is like, whoa, it's getting high, but it's 5.12. So right now, I mean, that'd be kind of like me running, like remember I was running like three, a little over 300 on the R22. Well, you simulate, you know, uh, 120 degree day, old air cooled, you know, at 15 over ambient would be right here. 20 would give me a little more leeway. So it's just like it's running on a hot day right now. Yeah. Hot gas line is 188. Water is at 106. Oh yeah, it's almost. It'd be warm enough to give a kid a bath right there. That little baby unit's already heated up that water. 189. So when you see the hot gas line go up like that, could be a sign that's still not getting enough reefer back. Oh, the stupid thing timed out. I hate that. We should check it at the compressor. It's probably hotter than that. Right. See what it is leaving the compressor. Yeah. Surprisingly, it's not really hotter there. Or is this on hold again? Oh, some bitch. Too hot. 202. I don't want it to go over 225, I believe. So, 203, that's okay. That's just kind of on the hot upper end. Water. See as the uh, the version gets up there, super heat is also shooting way up. So I don't have a probe in the supply temperature. It's cool, but it's not ice cold like it was. Um, Sixty-eight degrees. <laughs> Definitely not good. Uh, either feeding some gas in with the liquid now, 
into the coil. Probably what's going on. Might need to add a little bit more tubing into the water. The head pressure shooting up, so I'm already beyond where I want to cut it off now. So, yeah. yeah it's getting up there. One fifteen. Oh yeah, that's freaking. That's pretty freaking hot. The probe might be a little slow. One fifteen. And that'd be a hot freaking bath right there. Almost tolerate holding my hand in there. Sorry. So, huh. time 702. So I'll look back in the video to see kind of what it was when I started it up. And I could figure out how fast it heated that five gallons of water. So, not bad for a first quick test I ran out of sunlight. Sun's kind of getting down there. So, this new phone's kind of. Make it look a lot brighter because you want to adjust, but the sky and everything is a lot darker than this looks like. You see the street lights on, it's kind of dark out here. So, time for me to put this all away. I'll have to continue this later in the week. I think I need a little more coil on, on that. Either that, or I might just uh, put on that other heat exchanger I have and run a pump, kind of see what uh, I get out of this thing. But anyway, uh, basically, this is a uh, the little bastard unit. That's the big one over there under the tarp, and this is now going to be the little bastard. So be sure and like and subscribe so you can kind of see what becomes of this.